Hi guys, so in today's video I am going to show you how, let me back up, just so that you know, this is a Webtoon Artist Rambles video. And today I'm going to show you, I as a Webtoon Artist, <laughs> I'm going to show you how I go, how I create my backgrounds from 3D assets. Because I did not draw this, I use backgrounds, I use 3D assets, I use tools because I like them and I'm happy using them. That's it. I mean, I don't really have to justify anything, but just in case you guys are like, why do you use it? Because it makes me happy. So anyways, I'm going to show you how I go about getting this background. Let me just go ahead and pull up what the actual background looked like. Boom! So this is a background, a 3D background from, how many times can I say background? <laughs> from Clip Studio Paint. You go to the background section, two times. You go to the housing, you scroll down. This is what comes with it. I'm a person, I like to use the basic features. I like to use the default features, not the basic features, but I like using default features. I don't like, I don't, I don't really like to adjust things too much. I just like to like click it and go, boom, let's do this. Let's, let's hit the ground running. I, I don't want to set everything up perfectly. I just, I just, let's do this. <laughs> Even though while I'm rambling, I'm a rambler. So it's like, that's an interesting, it's a contradiction. Anyways. I pull my backgrounds from here, I drag it over here, like so. I'm not actually going to drag it over there because it's already over here. And then, after I do that, I mentioned in my other video, I just go ahead and I find my camera angle that I want using this camera preset. There's lots of different angles that you can use. Boom, 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 boom. I decided to use my own, create my own. Let me just go back. <laughs> You can adjust your camera, the 3D backgrounds, with these little features right here. You just click it and drag and move like that. See? Pretty cool. But we're not talking about that today. I'm going to show you how I changed this from looking like a very obvious 3D thing <laughs> into something that looks like more animified. Animified, is that a word? Anyways, what I do is this. I sound like Kelly Kapoor off The Office. Focus. I go to convert layer and I like to, is it raster or roster? Either way, I change it to a roster layer like this. The reason why is because I cannot use the color tonal correction with the image, the image material layer or whatever that other layer was, layer is. So I already have it right here. The, this is what it ends up looking like, but we're going to go ahead and just redo it now. So I go to my tonal, my tonal correction underneath my edit. Don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm actually working in Clip Studio Paint, so <laughs> that's kind of important to know. Anyways, I go to my color balance, and since this is kind of like in the afternoon while it's raining, I just bust this baby out to blue. I don't want it purpley, so I just move this over to Sienna. I just want like a smidgen, a magenta. Again, I don't want the purpley because I want like rainy feels. And I just like adjust it like this. I do not know what any of this really means. I only know a little bit of what it means, but I'm adding like more blue values. And as you can see, it kind of like washes out all that like 3D harsh detail. And it, it gives it like, I think it gives it more, more of a, ooh, that, there we go more of an anime type feel like an anime background type feel personally for me that's just my that's just me and you can like see how it looks you see you see it just it helps it to look more cartoony or anime -y or just cell shady <laughs> so that's 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 what I do let me just pop that one up so you guys can see that's this is what I came this is how I got to this was with the color balance with the color tonal this Total correction, color balance. That's all I did. I don't, I don't do the hue saturation one. I just go to t color balance because I want it. I just, I want it simple. And this is, this is how I do stuff simply, simply. <laughs> After I do that, let me just go ahead and delete this layer because now we are right here. I go ahead and I, because it's raining. So with this, this is actually an image layer, an image material layer. So I pulled this from the assets that you can find in Clip Studio Paint. 
So you go to here. Well, there's a, I have a couple of different like rainy texture ones. But sometimes I'll either have it in my color pattern background or I'll have it in my image material in the nature background. But that's that's where I got my, my rain one from. And you can just find more assets on Clip Studio Paint in their asset area. Just click this right here. So anyways, I just put plop that on top. And as you can see, it, if you go to the like layer setting, you click the layer and go to the layer setting, just change that to multiply, and boom, now you got some rain effect. I'm not going, there's other ways to do the rain stuff, but I'm like, I just, I want to create this quickly. And when it comes to webtoons, you got to do stuff quick. Next thing I did, I used these tree backgrounds these tree materials and again this was another asset that I got from Clip Studio Paint they have a lot of like different free ones that you can use make sure you read the license to make sure everything is good and Gucci for you <laughs> Gucci anyways that's with this was also I think that had, let me figure it out I think it was my nature one my nature well I have as you can see I have a lot of different tree background so it's either in my nature one or it's in my image material nature nature setting yep I use this tree and then let me just oops I use this tree flowers and plants this is a tree I use here it goes so I just plop that right up on in there and then I also did the color adjustment, so I changed this to a roster layer. And I went to my tone correction. Because I wanted to it this of course it's too it's too summery. I want blue. I want I want blue. I want like nighttime. Let me see. I want more green than this. I want. Nope, that's too green. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more green. A little bit less green. Yep, yep. There we go. But anyways, this is basically this is basically what I do. I just go to here and I just start messing around with everything. <laughs> I mess. I just usually mess with the half tones and the shadows. I don't really do the highlights too much. But it depends on the scene. So that's how I go about doing my color balance, giving it that anime-ish look. I rasterize it and I use my color, I can have tonal correction, and I go down to color balance, just re reiterating myself because I'm repetitious. <laughs> and then after that, I have the, that same like rain layer. I have it on top, and. No, 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 I have the other one, the other rain layer on top that I showed you guys, this one. I have that one on top. And I just, of course, I lowered the opacity. See, this one's at normal, so I think that one was the one that had the gradation. Yep, yep, that's the one. So this one had a transparent gradient on it, so I don't have to change it to multiply. And I just lowered the opacity because I wanted, I felt like this part, let me, take it off I felt like this was still too harsh you know and like it's still it's standing out too much I mean it's passable but it's standing out too much so I was like boom pop that on top and I was like oh I like that I like that a lot and then I forgot to mention this one this is just a tool where I use the airbrush just a basic airbrush I keep all my settings basic and the default settings and I just went over it added some let me zoom in there added some like fake like water cluster raindrops right there I kind of blended out this a little bit because I'm like I want like some ambience big words so it can blend into the background a little more and give it that anime look oh it's raining something's happening in today's episode not really but it feels like it because the ambience Anyways, that's what this layer is <laughs> to help everything blend in more. And as you can see, it's a lot less harsh. See, I think it looks a lot less harsh. I like it. And then I just boom, top, topped in, popped on my word balloons. And this is how I, that's how I made my, this is how, 
that's how I go about making changing the 3D background into looking more anime ish and me and that's how I do my 3D backgrounds with my webtoons. <laughs> I hope this helped. Um, let me know if it did. Let me know how what you guys do to do like your backgrounds. If you guys are like pro 3D assets or if you guys like are like no 3D assets, which is fine. You do you boo boo. It's fine. I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. If I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> so, anyways, let me close this video out before I start rambling more. If you have any questions, you want, or if you want to read this webtoon, you can find it on my website at sforshitastudio.com. It's called Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. If you like petty, fake marriage trope videos, emphasis on the pettiness. But more so they're like torturing other people, not really each other. <laughs> they're like they're like Bonnie and Clyde with each other and they're just like being petty with everyone else. And they're kinda of petty with each other in like cutesy ways. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it a little bit informational. And I will see you again next time with my next video. Alrighty, bye! <laughs>